I'm Jen Poncho, your Norwex Independent Consultant, and I am here to talk to you today about the Norwex Mock System. Here are the two different kinds of mock systems that we have. We have a superior mock system, which is this one right here, the bigger one, and then we've got our mini mock system. Um, I love both of these. Our, our mini mock system, we tend to use in like the upstairs in our bathrooms um, in our house, and then this one is for our main level where we have a lot of hardwood floors um, and linoleum and tile. So what's nice about the mop system is that, number one, you don't need any chemicals for it. Um, using the Norwex mop system, all we're using are our cloths, which are made into like a mop pad, and then water. That's all you need. There are no chemicals. What's great about our, pad, our mop pads that we have they have our backlock technology in them, so they have that silver agent in them that is, helps to repurify. Um, our cloths are great also because they remove 99% of bacteria off of surfaces, so that is another benefit of using these and not needing chemicals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate for you right now how to actually use the system. We're going to start off using one of our dry mop pads. We have several different options when it comes to our dry mop pads. We have, let's see here. We've got our yellow one, which is the one that comes with the mop pad. And then um, this is kind of like a rose gold color that goes with our, um, our Nordic style mop. So our mop comes in either like these, the gold and rose gold or in the blue green, the traditional blue green colors. So um, you have two options when you're doing that. So the way that it works with using the mop pad is what you're gonna do first is you're gonna lay your mop pad on the ground like so. <coughs> you're gonna take there's like a Velcro on the back of the mop pad. So you're gonna take your mop base and you're gonna set it down. And I usually step on it to make sure that it's on all the way. And then you'll see that the, the mop pad is connected. So the next thing I usually do, <coughs> in order to make sure that I have static charge going in my mop pad, I will take my rubber brush and rub it on The mop pad. What this does is it's going to generate that static charge, which is going to help to pick up additional specks that are on the ground. So then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to adjust the height of it. So what you want to do is you want the green ball to be right in line with your head. So then the process is you're going to move it in a figure eight po position or motion. There's some money that I just found in my kid's game room. So you're just going to go through your the whole floor and you're going to start off and do it with the dry mop and you're going to get the whole area done by dry mopping it first. This is important because when we come back through to mop the floor with our wet mop pad, we want to make sure that we've picked up all the dust and dirt that could be on the surface. So that's why we start with this. So then once we're done with the area, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your mop pad just like this over to your garbage can, and you're gonna take that rubber brush and you're gonna scrub it and get all the dirt and dust off of this mop pad. The reason you're gonna do that is because you don't need to wash the mop pad every single time you use it. You can do that and then you just hang it and then it's ready for the next time you want to use it. If you're doing a job that's a super dirty job and you feel like the, you know, the mop pad is quite filthy, then you can go ahead and wash it. But you really only have to wash the mop pad, the dry one, probably every two to three times that you use it. So once we're done with the dry mopping, what we're going to do is now take our wet mop pad and come through. So what I have here is a wet mop pad. So the way that I wet it is I get it thoroughly wet with warm water. I then roll it 
and then I squeeze out as much water as possible. This is important because if you have too much water on your wet mop pad, you could end up with streaks on your floor. So just keep that in mind that you really want to make sure that you wring out as much water as possible. So then what we're going to do is we're going to just put that wet mop pad on the ground. We're going to attach the mop base the same way we did with our dry one. And we're going to do the same motion over the floor. We're going to go in that figure eight motion like so. And you're going to get the whole area and you're just going to go through and do that. And this is something that you can use on not only um, your hardwood floors, you can use this on tile floors, you can use this on um, linoleum floors, um, anything, you know, like any surface that isn't like a carpeted surface, you can use this on. So then once you're done with your wet mop pad, what you're going to do is you are going to take off your wet mop pad um, and you are going to rinse it thoroughly and then you're going to hang that to dry um, with the little tab. What I have set up in my house is in our closet door off of our kitchen. I actually have it set up to use, um, like I have hooks for us to hang these mop pads on, which is nice because then they're right there, they're easily accessible. Um, and it's super convenient. So that's how you're going to use the mop system. Now there are some additional items that you can get with your mop system that I just want to talk about as well. One of them would be our chenille dry mop pad. This in my eyes is my favorite dry mop pad. I love using this in our house on our hardwood floors. Um, it works great for me. Um, what I always do with this one is when it's attached to our mop base, I'm going to take the rubber brush and I'm going to rub it through it to get that static charge going. And then you will be amazed at all the dust bunnies and all the stuff that it, it will collect. So this one to me is like a must have um, with the dry mop pads. You can get this one wet also if you want to, um, if you're just wanting it to pick up even more. Um, definitely, it's something that you could spray with water or spray with like odor eliminator or one of our other products that are safe for surfaces. The other mop pad that I love is our tile mop pad. And actually this one is the one that I tend to use the most. Um, on the mop pad, it has like our Enviro cloth surface, but then it also has these blue squiggly lines that are actually like a, like a rubber plastic. So it's more of a scrubbing effect. Um, you can use this like in your shower. Uh, let me show you. You can use this on your walls. Um, you know, if you want to get your walls washed, it's such a convenient Thing. So let's look, make sure you can see me. So what you would do is you just bring it up and down on your surface in order to clean it. Um, total game changer using these in your shower um, instead of having to, if you have like a surround, like surround system like in your shower or if you have tile in your shower, this makes it so much easier to clean your shower instead of like bending over and scrubbing and, and all of that. The other thing that um, is a newer item that has come out is the Norwex window mop pad. So what you would do is you take your wet mop pad to your windows, um, wash them down, and then you would put this on and then you would use this to basically polish your windows total game changer. Like if you have windows that are hard to reach, this is, this is an awesome item to have along with that. So, um, another great add on mop pad that you can get. Um, in addition, we have a newer product that is called the handheld system. So this is what it looks like. It's a small window mop pad. Um, and it's on a special base that's different than like our Enviro wand base or different than any of like our, our mop bases. What's cool about it is this tip comes off 
And do you see how that's like a brush? So you can take this brush to like your keyboard or around your window sills and really get in the corners to clean up any of um, the dirt or dust or grime that might be stuck in the corners of your windows. So with this, what you would do is you would basically take it and you just, hopefully you can see me, you just take it to your window and do the same thing as you would do if you were using our window cloth. Um, they created this after so many people were taking window cloths and attaching them to the mop systems. So then they came out with its own little system. And I like that this one has the smaller handle because then it's more convenient when I'm doing like a window that's lower and isn't a hard to reach one. So that's all about our mop system. If you have any questions about the mop system, please let me know. Um, I hope this was informative for you. Um, again, I'm a lover of the mop system and it's a staple in our house. I hope you have a great day. Bye.